When's the last time you milked a cow by hand? Went out and caught a chicken for dinner? Planted, tended, and harvested lettuce to make into a salad? If you're part of the 1.5% of Americans who are still employed in agriculture, you may have done this recently. But most people are pretty disconnected in terms of where their food comes from and how energy intensive the processes are. Food-related energy use grew six times faster than overall energy use from 1997 to 2002. And when you think about it, it shouldn't be all that surprising. Farm equipment, food processing plants, distribution, and the cooling units and lights that keep a grocery store running all take energy, and lots of it. What is perhaps surprising, though, is that approximately one-third of all the energy involved in food production is used by us, the consumers. We use stoves, dishwashers, microwaves. We have to leave our refrigerators and freezers running all the time. And how about that second fridge that more than one-third of U.S. households have sitting in the basement or out in the garage? That's constantly running as well. Of course, at the tail end of any meal is the trash can. Take a deep breath, plug your nose, and take a look at what ends up in there sometime. We waste about 35% of our food. And that means we're also wasting the energy that goes into making it. If conserving energy is important to you, there are ways to avoid these costs. You can purchase energy-efficient appliances, buy local, or buy raw ingredients instead of pre-packaged, pre-sliced, pre-processed foods. No matter how you look at it, though, many of our decisions regarding food come down to convenience. So the real question is, how do you find balance between convenience and efficient energy use in your busy life.